everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Tuesday afternoon, March the 13th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. I've got a stakes race on Tuesday afternoon here, folks, race 9, 3.50 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Ben Salem Stakes, six and a half for a long sprint on the dirt track, four-year-olds and up race for $75,000. Contenders number eight for Dang Shore, number seven Flat Bold, number three Gold Diggers Boy, and number two Westover Wildcat. Number eight for Dang Shore, a six to one shot on top, folks, takes a big track. Big class drop of 11 units shares the overall speed leaders in the stakes field with number three. Gold Digger's Boy has produced power and performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number seven, Flat Bowl, the morning line favorite, has also produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three including a power run win his last time out. Jockey Cornelio Velasquez and trainer Rudy Rodriguez sent him post for the Tuesday feature. They whacked the tote board with 52% of more than 125 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 9 summary number 8 for Dang Shore tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 7 Flat Bold, number 3 Gold Diggers Boy, and number 2 Westover Wildcat 8-7. 3-2 in the ninth today from Parks, the $75,000 Ben Salem Stakes. Long shots, Charlestown, race 7, number 1A, shortened and bred, a 92 shot. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is the overall speed leader in this allowance field. Sprinting at 4.5 furlongs on the dirt, comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his first asking. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia. Race four, the four to one shot. Number four, Touring Pro. Nice overall speed for this five and a half for a long sprint. Comes off a power run place finish in his last start. So from Parks Racing, I still call it Philly Park on a Tuesday. Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.